Hey guys, good morning. It's time for grammar. And in grammar for this week, we're going to be working on something called pronouns. And pronouns are actually really important because pronouns kind of help nouns out. They take the place of a noun so that you don't have to um, use the same noun over and over and over again. And what I mean by take the place of a noun, you can kind of replace a noun with a pronoun. And you probably use pronouns all the time and you don't even realize that you're doing it. Here are some common pronouns. Do you use those words a lot when you talk and when you write? Yeah, I bet you do. Did you know that you were using pronouns? Well, you are. Um, and I'm going to give you some examples of what I mean by taking the place of a noun so that you don't have to repeat it over and over again. So here is a good example. Um, Luke is my friend. Luke lives on my street. Luke has a trampoline. Well, we know that nouns are people, places, and things. And sometimes when we are talking about a person, a place, or a thing, we say that a lot. And we don't want to have to keep repeating that same noun over and over again. Like in this sentence, or in these sentences, it's Luke. Because all of these sentences are talking about Luke. But it's kind of boring and kind of a pain to keep saying Luke, 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 Luke. Can you see one of these pronouns that you could replace Luke with so that you don't have to keep saying the word Luke? Yeah, he. Yeah, instead of saying Luke, 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 we could say he lives on my street. He has a trampoline. He is my friend. And then we wouldn't have to say Luke so much. Do you understand kind of what a pronoun does now? Yeah, let's try another one. Oh, here's another example, but this one's talking about Gracie. Gracie sits beside me. Gracie always shares her snack with me. Gracie is nice. Well, Gracie's a noun because it's a person, but I'm getting kind of tired of having to use Gracie over and over again. Is there something I could use instead of Gracie? What do you think? Yeah, she. She would be a much better word to use than having to keep saying Gracie. And since Gracie's a girl, she is fine in this one. And that's why we chose he for Luke, because Luke is a boy. So he is for boy, and she is for girls. But yeah, it would sound better to say she always shares her snack with me. She is nice than having to keep saying her name over and over again. Well, let's look at this one, because it's not always people. A baby deer would be a thing. It's an animal. It's a thing. And these sentences keep talking about the baby deer. The baby deer's all alone. The baby deer looks scared. I wonder if the mom will come back for the baby deer. Well, I'm getting kind of tired of saying the baby deer. What could I replace the baby deer with? Hmm. I mean, if I knew if the baby deer was a girl or a boy, I could have used she or he. But... I don't know if the baby deer is a girl or a boy, so is there another word that could mean if I don't know if it's a boy or a girl? Oh, it. Yeah, I could replace the baby deer with it. That would sound a lot better than me having to say the baby deer, the baby deer, over and over again, right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Alright, let's try another one. There we go. My mom and dad are going on a trip. My mom and dad will leave Friday. My mom and dad will be back Sunday. Yeah, you're kind of catching on. When we have to keep reusing those nouns over and over again, it does make our writing and our talking just sound really wrong. And it sounds much better if we use one of these pronouns to replace it. So do you see why pronouns are so important? Yeah, and do you use pronouns a lot? Yes, I bet you do. So what pronoun could we use to replace my mom and dad? Hmm. Well, mom and dad are boy and a girl. They're together. I need a pronoun that kind of means two people. Do you see a pronoun that kind of means two people? 
Hmm. They, they are going on a trip. They will leave Friday. They will be back Sunday. Sure, sure. That sounds a lot better than having to keep saying my mom and dad, my mom and dad. Just replace it with they, because that's who your mom and dad are. They are they. <laughs> All right. What about... What about this one? This one's talking about my whole family. My whole family likes pizza. My whole family likes pepperoni. Sometimes my whole family will make pizza together. Hmm. My whole family, my whole family. I wonder what you could replace my whole family with. Huh. It wouldn't really be they because you are part of your family and they is when we talk about people who we're not part of the group. It's like people that are like over there, like they. But my whole family's I'm part of that group. My whole family. We! Because you're part of it. And when you're part of the group, you say we. We like pizza. We like pepperoni. Sometimes we will make pizza together. Yeah, that sounds a whole lot better than having to say my whole family over and over again. All right, so. All right, so that was all we were doing today with pronouns. We kind of did it together on the video. There's no assignment. There's, no, there's nothing to be turned into me. We will be talking about this tomorrow, so I hope that you'll be ready to help me um, do some more work on pronouns tomorrow, okay? All right, I'll see you tomorrow.